because for 99 percent of people the first part of a question and the first question in a panel interview or the first question in an MM, mmi station is going to be the hardest bit um, or to put it a different way getting off to a good start helps you to execute a good finish to your answer and we kind of know this from face value as well so if you do practice <laughs> the start of your question you're going to get the most bang for your buck it's the area i would really highly encourage you to to focus on in your practice so one mistake one big error i see a lot of my clients is they go oh look i've set aside the whole sunday afternoon to prepare for the interview well it's probably not the best way to do that. Yes, if you've got to do a bit of reading and things and organising, giving yourself a chunk of time is good. But actually, you can take two or three questions and a spare 15 or 30 minutes and actually practice components of those questions and get improvement from that, particularly if you're using um, video technology feedback. Um, so think about trying to grab small parts of your day for practice and doing it regularly build it into every day's daily work, you'll get less exhausted that way and you'll actually find that you're spacing it out uh, and getting more improvement that way. Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Llewellyn, the career doctor. I took that tip from a recent training webinar I did with some trainee doctors in Australia who are vying to become surgical trainees under the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons this year by applying for what's called the SET interviews. If you want more tips on how you can perform your best in a high stakes interview uh, for something like the set interviews, the surgical training interviews, then why not check out the link in the description to another webinar that I'm running on this particular topic. I'd love to have any surgical trainee wannabes attend and give you some of the, my wisdom that I've accumulated over six years now of preparing trainee doctors for uh, selection interviews such as set training. So going through some tips, tricks, how you can be more efficient and effective in your practice and preparation. I'll see you there.